Well, all our students will be back on campus this week, and uh, we're excited to welcome them all back since uh, we haven't been together since uh, March. Our student athletes uh, will be uh, starting to work out uh, after the first week or so. We'll do some strength and conditioning and, uh, and some practice activities, all while still maintaining social distancing and uh, masking uh, when we're indoors. Sure, the, the ODAC went through you know, a lot of different scenarios. You know, what's this going to look like? How are we gonna be able to do that? Um, who's going to be uh, wanting to, to do these things? And so came up with a, a lot of different uh, scenarios. It basically came down to uh, with the NCAA uh, and their testing protocols that they put in front of, of all the, uh, the association. It just became to the point where it was something that was not attainable for us to uh, to proceed with the, the fall semester and uh, competition and athletics and, and high risk and medium uh, risk sports, uh, those with contact football, soccer, uh, and the like. So we, um, uh, you know, we felt like it was best to let our students know at this point in time and then try to work on a plan for the spring semester where we can have all our sports uh, competing and playing and what that will look like. And, and certainly the league works on that on, a, uh, on, on almost a daily basis at this point. So uh, starting out this fall, uh, teams like uh, football and soccer, which are, are high contact uh, sports, they'll be practicing, um, working on plays, working on drills. Uh, there just won't be contact. So uh, soccer working on passing drills, dribbling drills, uh, even working on, uh, on plays where there may not be a defense out there. Same for uh, football, being able to run plays, run uh, drills, uh, work on their skills without uh, wearing pads and, uh, and, and having contact. Sports like baseball and lacrosse, uh, baseball, you know, they'll be playing. Um, it may not be a, a, a full scrimmage. We may not have a catcher. Uh, and a batter in the uh, in, in the same area, but uh, certainly being able to, uh, uh, to to play baseball, to play lacrosse again without a defense, uh, to shoot on goal, those are things that we're uh, we're definitely going to be able to do this uh, this fall. Well, golf and tennis are, are listed as as low contact, low risk sports because you uh, uh, the availability to to social distance. So we do have plans to uh, to have some competitions in uh, in tennis and golf this fall although not at the the level that we had planned on on doing uh, typically in the fall golf will participate in uh, in five tournaments uh, tennis will usually be in uh, uh, at least uh, two if not three events and uh, w those will definitely be limited and uh, and and we'll be working through those uh, over the next couple of weeks to uh, to finalize well, how, how the spring semester will look, look starting in January, we're still not sure. Uh, if, if the world's like it is today, then it's, it, it would be probably highly unlikely that, uh, that we'd be able to move forward in, in competitions. But the FDA just uh, approved a, a, a new test yesterday that's a, a saliva-based test that uh, the results are, are much quicker. Uh, they're able to produce these tests uh, in larger quantities. Um, and, and, and cheaper. So uh, having said that, if, if those things are available, then we'll be able uh, to, to move forward in some form or fashion with, uh, with competitions uh, this spring. Uh, we also, you know, they, they talk about the, uh, the vaccines that are out there. And so those are all the, uh, all the unknowns right now. So time is a, is a, is a friend in this, in this matter. You know, we certainly uh, could have taken the, the fall semester and said, well, we're going to wait two weeks, we're going to wait another two weeks. Uh, but, it, but at the end of the day, we wanted to let our student athletes give them a, a good idea of what was going to be available to them uh, and, not, uh, and, and not try to uh, confuse them with, uh, with different deadlines. So we will prepare this fall as, as if we'll be playing uh, in, in uh, January and uh, set those schedules up. And we hope to have those released by uh, the middle of September. Basketball and swimming are, uh, are affected in the aspect that they'll have no competition uh, through uh, December 31st, uh, although they will start uh, practices later this fall. Again, at this point in time, it'd be social distance with, uh, obviously with swimming, that's a lot easier than, uh, than basketball, but basketball will be doing individual drills, shooting, 
uh, those types of, uh, of things without, uh, without the contact. Um, saying that uh, things move forward with the, uh, with the testing or vaccines, then when they come back in January, uh, that they will get uh, started. Swimming will probably start competition sooner rather than, uh, than, than basketball, but uh, the, with the plan that basketball will start competitions no later than uh, the, the last week of January or uh, the beginning of February. So the plan with spring sports right now is that it is, uh, everything's full go, that we're, we're planning on a normal spring and, uh, and that we're scheduling it that way. So the, the, the ODAC or Hampton City has not made any changes to any uh, spring contests at this point, and uh, hopefully that will be the case and we'll be, uh, be able to continue to move forward. Campus this fall will be different than any other uh, semester here at, at Hampton City. Um, the, the, the social distancing uh, that'll take place so uh, when our young men are in, in line in the uh, in commons for meals, uh, standing six feet apart for, uh, from each other. You'll see hand, sanita uh, uh, hand sanitation uh, stations uh, throughout the campus uh, that students should be using on a regular basis. Classrooms will be spread out. We've got uh, classes uh, will be uh, outside in, in tents in, in some cases. So um, it, it's certainly going to look different uh, that way. But the idea of bringing our young men together uh, and continuing uh, that brotherhood of, of, of learning together uh, from each other, uh, both in the classroom, uh, on the athletic uh, uh, facilities, and uh, in the dorm rooms is something that we feel is very important uh, to the education of a Hampton City man, and, and we're going to do our best to, uh, to provide that for them. Uh, this pandemic that uh, you know started out uh, for us in uh, in March uh, is something that obviously we we've never we've never seen and and the thing that I've learned from all this uh, are, are a couple things is one you you know we cannot take anything for granted we've got to take uh, uh, take advantage of every opportunity that we have uh, because you don't know uh, when those opportunities will will come around again. And then the other thing is that to, to expect the unexpected. So, uh, you know, when this all started in March, uh, if you'd have told me that we'd be having this conversation in August, I had have told you no, that it would all be over and, and we'd be able to, uh, to move forward. But, but clearly that's not the case. So uh, just being able to, um, uh, to, to look at these changes and to, uh, and, and to move forward with it, not to place blame, not to, um, uh, not, not, to, not to look back and, and feel sorry about it, but you know, what can we do and, uh, and, and what's the next challenge that we have in front of us and let's get that challenge done. The last thing that I'd like to say is just we, we're very excited to have our young men uh, back on campus and, uh, and looking forward to, uh, to starting classes and, uh, and getting back to uh, uh, some normalcy here. Uh, again, this fall semester won't be like other fall semesters we're not gonna have. Uh, tailgating uh, on a uh, beautiful uh, uh, Saturday, October, uh, in October, but we're going to uh, we're going to have our young men back, and, and that's a that's a special thing here at Hampton Sydney. We form good men and good citizens, and uh, we're going to continue that uh, after uh, 244 years. We're going to continue that with uh, this group of young men, and uh, and look forward to getting that started. Roll Tigers.